Today's uh, Tuesday, November 29, 2022. I saw the neurologist today. It's uh, It was just a four month follow up. But I mean, there's not much the neurologist can do for me now. I don't think he can. He just, uh, just wanted to update basically of what was going on. I still rocking. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he's not, basically, he just asked me if I'm able to live a normal life now. I mean, in a way, yeah, I, I can, even though it's uncomfortable. It's just, you know, my body just, it just got used to this rocking all the time. I, I mean, I still get dizzy when I'm in a grocery store it's it's the whole rocking it feeling doesn't go away but it's just I'm just used to this discomfort now pain so yeah he just basically just told me to try to live a normal life and he always brings up about his friend who has tinnitus and um he's able to live his life with tinnitus ringing so he tells me to do the same so there's not much there's not much help or solution that he could offer me but yeah um, um, I'm supposed to see the ENT tomorrow as well the, he told me to talk to the ENT because the ENT ordered the VNG test so I have to mention that to him about the results and um, hopefully maybe the ENT could refer me to a audiologist audiologist physical therapist because yeah the the physical therapy the neurologist gave me wasn't was just a basic physical therapy so it wasn't helpful in my situation um, I'm still taking Effexor and it's it's really bad if I miss one dose of Effexor if I forget to take it the next day I, I literally feel like a zombie where it's like it's uh, just I feel so like lethargic like so just weak like I feel like I'm just walking like sleep like just I, I just feel like a zombie completely like so I it feels horrible missing like missing that medication so yeah it kind of sucks that I have to I'm like dependent on that now, but I don't even know if it's helping my anxiety, but I, th I feel like compared to before, I'm not, I'm more like, I don't care as much, like not care as much, but like just not as, not as uh, like just, maybe calmer like I'm I mean I've always been a calm person but just less like I don't know just not care as much I think like I don't know like who I don't even know if it if the drug is working but I just feel like just yeah don't care as much um yeah, so, but anyway, I, I asked to switch to a different medication and my psychiatrist is going to switch me to Lexapro. And I heard, I hear that one's more common antidepressant. And, um, yeah, so for me to, I'm taking 70 milligrams of Lexapro, I mean, 70 milligrams of Effexor and for me to switch to the Lexapro 
10 milligram, I have to also take half of the Effexor for two weeks along with the Lexapro to taper off. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I've already tried Sertraline Zoloft. That didn't help with my rocking. So, yeah, I switched to Effexor. And then Effexor, I, I feel it's the same. So, yeah, I'm going to try Lexapro now. And, um, yeah, I'm still rocking. I'm able to, I mean, I, it's really, there's times where it's really uncomfortable when I'm just sitting down, feeling the full rocking. And, and I do, I, it, that always makes me feel down, but if I'm able to, distract myself, do more fun things. If I constantly able to distract myself, then then I'm able to somehow get through it. But yeah, um, yeah. But it, it, I hate I I hate this rocking. But I feel my. I feel walking on a target helps a lot. Like, yeah, but yeah, the the gravity, the gravity force is what what sucks about this this rocking, feeling the rock uh, gravitational push. Yeah, it's uh, been over a year now. I it was all started October October first, two thousand twenty one, and it's today's November twenty ninth, two thousand twenty two. So over a year and a year and a month passed. Or. Er, Almost oh wait a year and two months, four fourteen months, rocking, every single second day. So yeah, but yeah, but yeah, I just try to get through every day. Um, I feel like just getting through a day is an accomplishment, but, um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's tough. It's, I, I don't think I could explain this to people, but unless they have it themselves, no one's gonna understand this. It's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not something people could could sympathize. It's like you know, you see someone break their leg. It's like oh, you see you see that. Like that looks painful, or like if they're bleeding, then yeah, they could really feel like sorry for them. But that's just rocking. It's all invisible. I can't. Especially when you try to try to just go on your day normally, like they'll think you're fine. It's just, yeah. Um, yeah. So I'll see the EMT tomorrow. make a video another video tomorrow but yeah I'm still rocking oh yeah and also one more thing uh, I gained like 
I gained when I first started walking had all this when I was just walking every day I, I was losing weight I was like I was like one less than one I was like 120 I weighed like 120 and then now I gained like 20 pounds like I don't know if it's the antidepressant or because I just have more appetite and not exercising as much I mean, I'm trying to exercise now but yeah I gained like 20 pounds it sucks and I, but yeah I'm gonna need to exercise more and eat less but yeah that's I don't think this rocking is ever gonna stop. It's gonna. But now I see how people live years with this. I mean, it's not impossible, but it it's, it sucks. Like it's it, it's uncomfortable. But yeah, I I, I can see now how they're able to somehow manage and deal with it, deal with this discomfort. Yeah, it, it, it took a long time though. It took, it took several months for me to, for my body to just have this feel like a new normal, like, but yeah. I hope, I hope it stops.